I am so grateful to people who have taken this bottom-up journey. It is very interesting to look back and see all the different things you may have done. You may have participated in a poverty simulation. You may have conducted virtual interviews. You may have conducted image-based immersion exercises. You may have participated in image-based immersion exercises. You may have looked at 360 videos, day-in-the-life videos, raw interviews. You may have written first-person accounts of people based on their interviews, and so on. These are all aspects of virtual immersion. And the idea here is that we want you to move from sympathy to informed empathy. Sympathy is a very good, beautiful human sentiment. But if we stop right there, we don't connect the dots in ways we truly understand people's needs. In subsistence marketplaces, it is not just enough to understand the customer or the beneficiary. You have to understand the community and the larger context as well. And that is where virtual immersion is very important. And doing these different exercises is very important. We often think of it as taking this broad immersion where we see what the dots are, and then getting more specific through virtual interviews, which are often related to your specific projects. You can see the different types of materials we have developed, the image-based immersion and so on. These are material we have produced for this purpose. All of this is bottom-up, and why is that so? We let the life circumstances come to us. That's what we mean by bottom-up. So when we use these bottom-up methods, you are trying to articulate needs, and we believe that you can articulate needs that have never been articulated before because you can avoid using traditional needs and find new ways to look at combinations of needs. You're letting the bottom-up process help you to define the need. When it comes to creating solutions, coming up with ideas for solutions, we are quite absolute as well. We believe in bottom-up before top-down. Immersion-based exercises, looking at images, looking at videos, looking at virtual interviews, before we look at what's come before and what's already out there. These are all bottom-up ways to try to come up with solutions. Bottom-up need deconstruction is another method as well. Again, we have produced this content so that you can engage in bottom-up idea generation as well. We believe that being bottom-up before top-down enables you to be creative. Otherwise, when looking at what's already out there, you stifle your own creativity. So these are the array of methods that you can use to understand the need or problem, to design a solution, to then develop a business plan, and then show how you meet the triple bottom line. Next, I'm going to talk to you about emerging markets, subsistence, and sustainability.